this video, I'm breaking down how you easily can color grade SLUG3 footage in CapCut in two different ways. First method is using my free LUT that you can download, link in the description below, and a couple of tweaks to make the image pop more. Second way is using the built-in tools in CapCut to make your images look beautiful. My name is Christian, by the way. Thank you guys for tuning in. Let's go. First thing I did after applying an adjustment layer was to turn on the LUT function, which allows me to slap on any LUT that I want. I used my RE Cinema Green LUT, and as you can see, this is the before and after, before and after slapping that LUT on top of this footage. It gives you a super nice starting point. So yeah, like I said, you can download this LUT in the description below. The next thing I did was to play a little bit with the basic adjustments. I added a little bit warmth in this image. I added a little bit of saturation. I dragged up the brightness a little bit, um, and then the highlights down, the shadows down, and a little bit of sharpening here to make the image a little bit more crispy. So this is how that looks, boom. And that is basically it, guys. That is all I did to this image. This is a before, after. And this is without the adjustments, and this is with the adjustments. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering where you can get this LUT function, it's basically in the adjustments, in the basic tab, and on top here, you can just turn this off and on. And this is basically what the LUT is doing. So it's a pretty powerful LUT, and it's all free, like I said, on to the next grade. So the first thing I did here was to drag this adjustment layer right here, copy it, and drag it on top of the next clip. I'm gonna just delete it because I've already done it in here, and just uncheck the LUT. I wanna show you how you can get a pretty similar grade without my LUT. So, boom, and I'm not using the paid version of CapCut, which costs money. This is only the basic adjustments, the HSL, and the curves. So, uh, what we did here was, like I said, we left all the adjustments that we did in the previous clip, and um, added a new adjustment layer by going up here and dragging a new adjustment layer. But I've already done that, so I'm gonna delete it, show you how this looks with the adjustment that we made. First thing I did here, actually, was to add saturation to this whole image. I'm not gonna show you now because if I uncheck the adjustment, you'll see all the adjustment that I did later. But when I'm color grading SLOG3 footage from scratch, I always drag the saturation up first because it creates color contrast and it makes it easier for you to know how to adjust the curves. I'm gonna just show you this real quick. Let me just pull this over here and drag this on top. So if I drag saturation in this image, as you can see, it creates a lot of color contrast. So I bump it up a lot because I can always go back and dial it in. But now that I have a lot of saturation, it's easier for me to see how much contrast I need in this image. It's easier to use uh, the Luma curve, you see? Um, because if I go back here and drag back the saturation, it's a little bit more difficult to see how much contrast you actually need. So this is a really nice tip, by the way. So let me go back here and just delete this. I'm not gonna check this yet because, like I said, I only used the saturation in the beginning. And then I went back in and did all the other adjustments. So after adding a whole lot of saturation, I went in here, boom, and added this curve, right? And after adding this solid curve, I went back into the basics and added adjustments. So I added temperature and then I added some green tint. Boom, and that's how that looks. And in the lightness here, in the overall exposure, I actually bumped it up a little bit. So you can see there's two there. I added a little bit of contrast, and even though I'm not a big fan of this slider in Lightroom or uh, Premiere Pro or even Final Cut, um, I used it here because it works and um, you don't have so much other options actually. Even though I can bump down the shadows, it's not actually doing what I'm liking, so I used contrast in this case. Anyway, I dragged up the highlights, dragged down the shadows a little bit, and that is basically it. That is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're into this kind of content so you don't miss out on future uploads. And also, like this video if you like it. It would mean a lot to me. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.